All right, folks, we're here, Monday Racer. I'm standing up today because I don't feel like sitting. But um, So it's Tuesday, obviously. I was a little frustrated with Sunday. Um, did a shower beer, um, but I wanted to kind of see what everyone else was talking about, let myself cool down. Um, but that race to start off with sucked. Um, not because of the outcome that we as race fans were robbed of, but there was barely any passing for how much fall off was on there. The whole issue of the cup series right now is the car. And I said over and over and over that I'm going to make a thing on the car. I need to sit down and do that, but it's going to be a, a long parter to do that because there's a lot of stuff and I have a lot of answers and things they should do. And everyone else in the fucking NASCAR world is like, they need to do something. And no one gives me fucking actual answers. I have answers. Or at least options. Do them. Or, I guess, don't and just whatever. But, because we saw the Saturday race with the Xfinity cars, which are way better cars, handle way better. Or maybe they don't handle better, but they, they're just a better car overall. And... It puts on a better show, and you can say it doesn't always, but that's because there's only like maybe 14 cars that are competitive because just because of that series. But if you were to bring that car up to the Cup Series with all the money that they have up there, it'd be a different story. But yeah, that this new car has wrecked a lot of fucking everything basically. But no one's gonna admit that. I'll make a thing on that specifically. But the car caused the whole issue of barely any passing like the only time we saw passing was on restarts and then everyone got single thought out and there was literally three cars there were literally three cars the whole goddamn race that were passing people uh one of them was martin truex who dominated the whole fuck thing probably should have could have would have won that and that's what you can say all the time but if he wouldn't have got you can say that he drove in the corner and ross chastain and whatever but if that wouldn't have happened he probably would have won. They would have made adjustments. He would have won. Obviously, probably got some sort of it damage or fucked it up. You can't see anything with these new cars because they suck. And they're just big fucking tanks. And yeah, that fucking retarded. Um, if you don't like my language, go fuck yourself. Um, so, yeah. So, that's my thought on that. Um, the other two were Ross Jastain. He was able to drive through some vehicles up there. Um, he started up towards the front. And the other person was Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson actually went all the way, not all the way back to the back, but 25th and drove all the way up. Those are the only three cars that had any sort of success of driving up there. Otherwise, the rest of the people either had to make um, pit road, um, you know, pluses and minus through pit road. Otherwise, there was really no passing. So, it's pretty lame, pretty stupid. Figure it fucking out. That's an awesome track. And um, listening to a bunch of different interviews... Um, I think even Bill Elliott mentioned it on, or it was Bill or um, Richard Petty. Someone asked the question, I think it was Clint Boyer, and Clint Boyer, I need to make a thing on him because he's fucking irritating as fuck, and he can fix his shit if he just stops being irritating. But I would rather have him fix the cars than fix the commentators. Who care, fucking cares about the commentators anyways? Um, they asked one of those two, I can't remember, Richard Petty or Bill Elliott, um, through the different cars and stuff, did the track, you know, ever change, like, how you drive it or whatnot, and it didn't, because the track, all, track didn't change, um, and you can continue to look at that, and I will make points on that when I talk about the car, this next-gen car, there's a lot of things that haven't changed, and one major thing that has changed, and it's the car, the car, the car, the car, the car is the issue, and everyone's like, I don't want to do but we're not trying to focus on that. We're trying to focus on Darlington itself. Um, the other issue with that race was Ross Chastain robbed everyone, everyone of an awesome finish. Because he's a fucking moron. And everyone's like, yeah, it's a great, he's the greatest thing for NASCAR. Yeah, because people are talking about it. Of course, you can be like, oh, you know, no, no news is bad. But sometimes bad news is good news. Because... Yeah, like that makes sense. And it does, because it gets more eyes on the sport. But And 
like Dale Jr. was saying, I I usually am in support of what Dale Jr. has to say, but everything he says about Ross Chastain, I fucking hate. I don't know what is going through Dale Jr.'s mind on it, but yeah, it gets more eyes on the sport. That's the only thing I agree. And I'm tired of everyone that gives interviews like Kenny Wallace or even Dale Jr. or Mike Davis or I don't even, there's a bunch of other fucking people. Some of the people at DB, DBC uh, were like, he's a great guy and all that. I don't give a fuck if Ross Chastain is the best person in the goddamn world. All I care about is watching people race and people race hard and people race mostly clean. Yeah, you have these occasional fuck ups. But Ross Chastain doesn't do that. He fucks up all the time. All of his wins, his two wins, his one win that he actually somewhat did okay, um, the one at uh, freaking the road course at fucking Texas, I can't even think of the fucking race because I don't think it's a very good track for NASCAR and they should leave that place, but um, he literally just dumped AJ Albendinger and then wins. Yeah, dumping happens in racing and that's fine, but you can't have all your wins be dumps. So, dump and goes. And then Talladega, it was just a luck fest. He just lucked into being the guy there and just, whoop. Otherwise, he hasn't won a fucking race. So, I'll tell you what you want to say, but there's two things that make yourself great in NASCAR. One, championships. Two, wins. You can have all the goddamn top fives, all the goddamn top tens. But if you can't win, and you can't win championships... What's the fucking point? That's like being like, you know what? I'm the best uh, quarterback, wide receiver, but and I get paid the most, but I have zero championships. No one's going to remember you, pal. So, Ross Chastain needs to be stopping a fucking idiot and stop making stupid decisions because he makes dumb decisions all the fucking time. Uh, he made a stupid decision uh, going into the, fin the final turn where he fucked himself. Obviously, he was upset because Kyle Larson pinched him into the wall the prior restart, yeah. But he should have learned from that. It's a learning experience. That's probably one of the best racers out there right now, like, as a whole racer. Like, can almost race anything. Um, and you have to push people around. You got to get them to lift. That's the point. But it's doing it not dirty. And practice. Practice makes perfect. And he just literally drove in the corner and just stuffed him in the wall and stuffed himself in the wall. And it's like, dude, you had the bottom. You had a whole lap. Everyone says you're talented, but if you don't show that talent and you just bomb into the corner and you just, you know, push people up in the wall or you just make stupid decisions where you just spin people out or you put your nose in spots like at Talladega where you shouldn't have and you should have just got up to speed a little bit and not take the first goddamn baby hole that you can fit your fucking nose in use your goddamn head people can say it's easier said than done but you know what when you keep doing it over and over and over and over and over you look like a moron and you look like you haven't learned and you apologizing does nothing the only way you're gonna get people on your side is basically to just start racing cleaner making smarter decisions, uh, finishing races, you know, getting, you know, seconds or whatever, thirds, you know, doing stuff like that, not fucking bombing it off in the corner, wrecking whoever is in first or second or just wrecking everyone for chances or waiting to not lap your teammate so then Truex catches up to that. That's an issue. It's stupid. It's dumb. Stop doing it. You're a moron. Um... Yeah, it's plain and simple, and just fucking do better, because that's the only way you're going to get people's respect, and all these drivers like Dale Jr., Kenny Wallace, uh, Fox Sports, all trying to push you onto everyone else, Ross, is not having anyone else want to be your fan. The 10 second Tom fan is going to be your fan, but they'll only watch for 10 seconds, so... And they'll be bored of the sport and within, I don't know, two races. And they'll be like, yeah, fuck that. So, good luck, NASCAR. See you later. And uh, thanks, Miller Light.